Good evening and welcome to this week's Scott Report. It's the Household Cavalry Foundation Gala Dinner. There's an incredibly brilliant fashion show and all sorts of fashion speaking heads and we're hanging out with these guys, so come on in. I am here with the beautiful Abby Clancy. And I'm with the you? gorgeous you. Oh, how <laughs> are you, darling? Lovely to see you, darling. Lovely yeah. to see you too. So, fashion for the brave. Fashion for the brave. Your Be brave. Dress. Okay. I'm very brave wearing that dress. It was like a strip of dress and then all body. Do you enjoy wearing it? Yeah, I think it's all of his dresses and masterpieces. Do you look, look at this one. Another number. Fabulous dresses. They're not for the shy and retiring, They're not they? for the shy and retiring, but you know, it's a great cause. The dress is very patriotic, covered in Union Jacks. What you're doing for your country, I mean, <laughs> it's impressive doing. stuff. So this evening, what does it mean to you to support such a worthwhile cause? You know, I think it's just obviously being from England, I think it's, you know, our troops do just the most amazing brave things you can you can't even imagine what they go through so to be able to help in any way well i think there's a few cavalry members who are going to be <laughs> deeply chuffed this evening from that she looks absolutely amazing in the dress and i'm sure that the cavalry will be very surprised and i'm sure there'll, there'll be a new pinner <laughs> after tonight a new clip pin up in the barracks she definitely will be so talking about being brave and fashion what does it mean to you as a designer to be involved in such a prestigious evening well it's great to be involved with guys that do such an incredible job it's something which i could never do and so um, i have ultimate respect for what they do and what they achieve and how heroic and how brave they are so i'm just happy to be involved and you know i wish we could all be as strong as them when are the moments in your career that you felt that you need to really pull in some bravery keeping the theme going here <laughs> well you know you need to be brave you need to succeed in fashion fashion is very cutthroat bitchy notorious business so perhaps my bravery comes through my fabulous glamorous clothes we try and bring the very best of British fashion design and this year, because Princess Beatrice is our patron, she expressed a particular desire to see the work of young designers. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thrilled that we've got 14 of Britain's top young talents. But then on top of that, there's amazing designers like Jenny Packham, Marquesa, Temple, yes, all, and all the big brands, um, Hunter, Barber. Mulberry, Burberry. It's going to be amazing, <laughs> FYI. This is the third running of this annual event, which is our major annual fundraiser for the Household Cavalry Foundation. It's certainly a platform for us to be able to get um, our cause and our charity in the public eye. I think if in future we can tie that in with uh, raising awareness for young British designers, I think it's a perfect pairing and hopefully we can establish this event in the fashion and charity calendar as we go forward. I think you have to support every cause. If, if you're a public person and you can spread a word or make make something more, make people more aware of a cause, why not? When were the moments in your career as a fashion designer as yourself where you yeah. really thought you really needed to pull in bravery? Oh God, probably every other day for the last 13 years. Really? Yeah. I just came back from Shanghai Fashion Week. That was being brave, trust wow. me. It's another world over there. It's different mentality, different everything. And you're doing interviews from morning to night. They don't. There's no time schedule. Uh, you look absolutely Thank knockout. You. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Actually, talk us through this. I try. Gown. I try. This is one of her sort. This of. is this actually is a vintage a column dress <laughs> I had, and I designed and customised it. You designed and customised it. I did Have indeed. Thank you. Yeah. People talk about bravery now and courage when actually that's not really what it's about. These guys really are what the, that word was what it was about. So I think it would be wrong to almost put it into the same. Make it flip them. Yeah, yeah, don't make it flip them because I mean, you know, most people don't have to get experience to the thing. Yeah, experience like anything like that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's an absolute pleasure and an honor to be part of uh, this uh, event. 
I'm really looking forward for the show because I'm taking part in it today. Okay, so tell us exactly what you're doing in the show today. Uh, I will be wearing one of the most beautiful gowns there and I'm opening the final section, the red gowns, so look out for me there. So Katia, are you going to be wearing a red gown? I will be wearing a very beautiful red gown.